Okay. Vivi. <laughs> Sandy says, Good evening, Mehran. <laughs> Hello, Sandy. How are you, dear? Would you please explain how to, to let go of regrets and decisions made in the past? Well, I do have a, a, a video talking about no regrets. Uh, and uh, that video actually is maybe just a couple of minutes and it's posted on my Facebook page, the uh, Mind That Seeks Truth author for your Facebook page. But let me see if I can have it here and put the link there for you guys. One moment, please. Maybe two moments because it's dragging. <laughs> this is the link, Sandy. And I think that would be something that would be helpful. Now, in the meantime, what is regret? Regret is one description of it would be when you think you haven't handled something the way you would have handled it now you regret or something that you've done and you you wouldn't have done it now if it was you now with what you know now you wouldn't have done it so you always regret about something that you've done. Isn't that true? You never regret about something you didn't uh, do. Because not having done something that you wish you would have done is also having done something. So on that basis, what I'm trying to say is that you always regret about a decision that you did make or you didn't make. A possibility. So that means you're judging yourself in the past with the values and advancements and the experience that you have now, which is the future of your past. That's not logical. Because when you made that decision, whatever it was, or you didn't make that decision, whatever it was, you were a different person with different equipment, with different understanding, with different experiences, different uh, resonating on a different frequency based on your experiences in life. When you were facing with that decision, whatever it was, you were at a different time, a different person with different understanding of how things were. You made that decision based on the information that was available to you at that version of yours. Now, which we all believe our consciousness is constantly under modification and influences of things happening in the world, and that what makes us to be dynamically changing that's why conflicts and divisions happen between people because they're constantly changing. So therefore, we're always changing. So knowing that, we know that now what we are is a changed version of what we were when we were facing that decision, when we were making that decision. So when we were making that decision, we were an entity with different kind of characteristics and resonations and information. Now you're judging that character when you are definitely a modified version of that what it was because your consciousness always is modifying. But you expect you then would have known about what you do know now. Which takes the whole concept of future and now and the past out of the window. And if that is true, then there's no time. If there's no time... There's no thinking, there's no thinking, there's no life. Then how could that any of these happen at all? So what I'm trying to tell you is that you cannot judge what you did in the past based on the information you had in your consciousness at the time you were making that decision, based on what you are and how you are and the information that is available to you now. It's just unfair, it's not possible. It's just like saying, I would like to make the decision now about something, I would like to make a decision that I would be making a year from now. How do you know what decision you would be making a year from now based on 
what you have become a year from now. But that's what your expectation from what we're discussing now. You're saying, I am regretting and, I sh and I'm regretting what I did or did not do, the decision I did make or didn't make two months ago or two years ago because I wouldn't have done it or made that decision the way I did then now. It is no different than saying, I would have liked, I would like to make a decision or do things that the way I would do it a year from now. How can you? You're not the person that you would be a year from now. Therefore, you were not the person that you are now then when you made that mistake or that decision or however it was in the past. So regretting something that you were not equipped to do any differently is illogical. At the time you made that decision, you believed that the decision was correct based on the information you had in your consciousness about the whole experience of life and whoever you was and whatever that uh, subject was. And that's why it looked to be the correct decision to make. Because if it wasn't, you would not have made it. Now, today, there are different information available to you. How could you expect to be a constant entity in an ever-evolving world, ever-moving universe, and then regretting why I didn't make the right decision, the decision I would make today about that thing in the past, then when I made it. Because you are evolving with the universe, so therefore your level of experience and information has changed from then to now. So the, the, the vision that you have, the angle that you're looking at things now is based on new abilities that you have gained since then. But you expect to have had all these abilities that you have today, even then, which is illogical. That, again, means that you wish to have been living in a constant uh, state in an evolving world, which means you would have known everything you know now and everything you would know in the future then, in the past. Then what's the use of living? What's the use of uh, the... Uh, the uh, um, um, concept of time on that note there should be no regret because at the time that you made a decision or did something was based on the information that was available to you and the development that you received on your conscious level at the time and now it's a different time with it comes different experiences and different evolvements and development therefore your expectation of making a decision now just like when you made it then or just like when you would make it in the future is uh, unreasonable therefore there should be no regret i hope that would be something for you to think about and um but do take a look at this link that i sent you guys that kind of it's not as elaborate as just said it but it's something it's a different way